So now that it's working, we're going to try to connect a graphical interface. On that note, we're going to go back to the Olama doc since there was how to use open web UI and then I'm going to come back here. It's going to launch another container. Everything is directly on the network host. Normally, I don't have anything to do. It's just going to download Noah's Docker course and launch Open Web UI. And so, Open Web UI. For those who don't know, it's a chat interface like ChatGPT that will connect specifically to Olama. And so rather than using the command line like this, I will be able to directly have a nice web interface. And I hope that the streaming we saw there in the terminal is going to work. And that we'll have a chat GPT like experience. I'm quite curious to see what the tags will do in the end. Yes, but the reasoning it generates before producing the response. But I think that it might give it to us just like that. Or maybe, maybe yes, it was updated to take into account this kind of tags. By the way, if we look at the model's head, at the PBC or comfortably. So, where did you launch this for me? What did you say? What port? What port? We don't know. It's downloading config. Once open web UI is installed. Jetson IP 880, network host and advanced system. Theoretically, yes. Theoretically, yes. I can't copy it. Not big deal. We're going to copy it there. Or explore. The Cosmos, wherever you are, get started with Open Web UI GMLX. That's cool. Okay. Let's go. How can I help you today? Select a model. No results found. That's not great, is it? Not great. ADD a model. So, in the settings, how do you. Settings. So, does the doc say how to chat with? No, uh, well, we're going to find it. So, chat. No. General. These are the parameters that are being sent. The API admins and Eve. Web and URL connection. Model. Model. Our models found. Models. Why? They can't find. My models. Olama. Connections. Network problem? Yes, because that's not it. That's not it. Uh, 
earlier was I using that was it and it works so now that I have this is it I'm going to have access to the models yes deep seek it's there okay and so if I go back to the workspace those are search models but of course I was model model name deep six I don't know why I can't use the model directly but it's there model one and so chat plus So new chat with, and so the request, and what does it do? So there, we see the calls API calls above. A bit long. Very, very long. So we're going to go back to the admin, see if we could force it to activate. The streaming model IPSY advanced parameters trim chat response mistakes we it's an update okay and there you go it's working much better Incredible. And so indeed we don't see the pink tag. I think that, I don't know how, but Open Web UI removed it. Maybe he just removed the HTML tag. What we could tell him is that we could ask and now what's going to happen so here is it going to retrieve all the think tokens and then stream and clearly the streaming is working so in my opinion here he is in the process of streaming twitter cans for the think part and then when it's done, he will respond. By the way, we can see it here. It's interesting. We can see it here in the chat name. We see the think tag. I think, all right, so I need to, we see it appearing, but open. Web UI is hiding it. Can I make it appear in the admin panel? The think part. This is the key to the H2O filter action capability. Vision, not a good one. Advanced parameters, stop sequence, temperature, reasoning, and strong. Thanks, Langstock and Allmax. One, which is very possible. We can't see part five just because 
There he marks thinking. He took all this time to start thinking. Oh, well, look, there we see it. No, no, we see the thinking part that is in the process of... We see the tokens. Someone mentioned Rayleigh scattering. Yes, you said it. To respond, I know a gift. What? When I ask who Rayleigh is, what's the response? I know Rayleigh scattering again. Maybe Rayleigh is a person. Hey, maybe. Okay. Is it the name of a person? I don't remember a gift from a scientist named Rayleigh in my class or in the sources I have on this topic. Let me think about well-known scientists who studied light. Maxwell, yes. Electromagnetism, yes. Einstein, yes. But neither Maxwell nor Einstein is Rayleigh. That's true. That's true. Maybe Rayleigh is an alias? Ah, 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 ah. In optics, there's something called the Rayleigh criterion. He's thinking, he's thinking a lot, a lot, a lot. Well, he still hasn't really started to respond to me. That is to say, if I'm not opening thinking right now, I just see him thinking. That's amazing. Uh, if I think about physics, there are several scientists whose last name is Rayleigh or something similar. For example, Lord Rayleigh, who was an English physicist. Yes. Yes. It's really very, very human. Like, it looks like they're discussing, really, it looks like they're discussing. Yes, that sounds familiar. John William Stratt Baron Rayleigh was a scientist, prominent in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He worked on sound, gases, the Rayleigh equation, which deals with the question of light scattering in gases. So it looks like Rayleigh scathing, the Rayleigh scattering is named after him. Considering the information I have, it's plausible that Rayleigh refers to Lord John William Strutt, Baron Rayleigh. And so, when we take away all the thinking part, we get the answer. The term Rayleigh scattering is named after Lord John William Strutt, Baron Rayleigh. The question is, is it true? If I go on Google... And if I search for Rayleigh scattering and go on Wikipedia. So, Rayleigh scattering. Uh, Lord Rayleigh. Is Lord Rayleigh John William Strutt III, Baron Rayleigh? And yes. That's correct. It's a good answer for deep seek. Very interesting then. He thought for three minutes before answering me. But the answer is correct. And what I find absolutely fascinating is reading the way he thinks. You can really tell it's someone thinking. He goes step by step, finding connections with other physical phenomena that carry the name from Rayleigh. In optics and acoustics, 
And so really, he makes several connections. And in the end, he says, it's plausible that this is the case. So that's really interesting. The way Jeremy is extremely close to how a human being thinks, you really feel like you're inside the mind of a person who is reflecting or having someone think out loud. And what's also interesting is that in the end, he gives us this answer. Okay. And he is affirmative. He says, Rayleigh scattering, it comes from Lord John William Strutt, the Baron Rayleigh. And he says, yes, it is. And he says it indeed affirmatively, but if we want to understand why, why, he comes to this conclusion, we have all this reasoning part that allows us to understand it, and that's great. And so in the end, a small box, only 25 watts, we manage to run the model that shakes up the stock market. We can look at NVIDIA's stock, which has recovered by 6%, but one... If we look over five days, we see these nice gaps, so I can see why it's so awful like this. I'm going to hop. There you go. It's more readable like that. You really can't see the drop. The drop after the release. From Deep Sea Carowan and then a slow recovery. Barely. 6% recovery. Not even if for this and the president today, but I think that Gradually, it will go back up to reach 150 since there's really no reason that it wouldn't. NVIDIA's stock market performance is falling, which means that we can do even better with NVIDIA chipsets. So, let's do so since with this new format, just a small terminal of 25 watts, I managed to run R1. I think that it is more a sign of the fact that NVIDIA dominates and with what I have in my pocket I can run this supermodel DeepSync R1 with 8 billion parameters thank you for watching this video in the next video what I'll try to do is focus on another model like DeepSync since there are people trying to reproduce 2.0 DeepSync R1 which will allow for a completely open model since DeepSeek is a Chinese model, it has a training corpus, which may not necessarily fit all questions, and which is politically correct. Towards the Chinese regime, in the same way that if we use, for example, ChatGPT, we see that there are certain biases that might disappear. So, Trump was elected. But it's very easy to highlight certain biases in ChatGPT that are well documented. There you go. Thank you for following along and see you soon for the next video. Bye.